Hello, good afternoon. Just waiting for someone to say hi. Okay, I have a few people now. Can you just let me know if the sound and the image is okay? Hola. Hi. Ooh. <laughs> Are you ready for today? I'm excited. <laughs> After the mess part that was yesterday, we're going to decorate and have some fun. Hopefully. <laughs> so for you that are just joining today, this is the second part of uh, my demonstration. But don't worry, you can always see on the YouTube channel of Saracino or here in the page, on the Facebook page, the first part. Um, in the first part, I carved the cake in the shape of a doll and I put ganache on it and smooth it and show how to make some cute and simple uh, fantasy flowers. And today we're going to cover and decorate the cake, the doll. <laughs> so it's the fun part. Ooh, a lot of people already post. Hi to everyone. <laughs> Are you ready? Just let me see here in my laptop the image so I can see all the comments and try to reply them in real time, more or less. Okay, it's here. Boa tarde, how we say in Portuguese, good afternoon. Welcome again to this demonstration and today it's the second part of this cute doll and today we're going to decorate and cover everything with sugar paste and paint it with edible colors and assemble everything and finish the project. Um, I'm using for covering modeling paste, okay? I'm using Saracino mod pasta model. I used skin tone and with a little bit of white, I mix them together because I'm trying to aim this light color here, okay? And the skin tone, it's a little bit dark, so I put some white to make it lighter. Uh, and then I will shade and to give some volumes and indentations and that stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to turn the camera now, okay? So you can see where I'm working. You don't need to use modeling paste to cover the cake, okay? Um, most of, practically everyone prefers to use fondant to cover. You can use, for instance, pasta top, okay, to cover the cake. I'm using the modeling paste because I like the elasticity and we have some intricate shapes and that way I know it won't break and rip apart on those parts, okay? Because my hands are really hot and when I work with the paste, it gives a lot of elasticity and it's good to cover some more difficult shapes. Let's see all the comments if there is any questions. Okay, yes, um, someone is asking in Portuguese <laughs> if I'm going to give the, the mold, the reference photos of the doll. Yes, I will upload today a PDF with these pictures and also the recipe for the um, carrot cake, the egg yolk cream and the ganache, okay? So, a lot of bonus. <laughs> so now I'm going to turn the camera. Bear with me a little bit. Almost done. Yeah. Sorry, yes, done. So here is she, a clean one, because yesterday the other one was really dirty. I have here the skin tone paste. I already worked with it. It's really soft now. It's ready to roll. Normally it's not like this. <laughs> but before going live, I worked a little bit with the paste. Just 
get it out from the refrigerator now. Since I'm covering everything, I don't mind if I have a tiny little bits of chocolate here. I don't mind at all. But if you wanted to cover just the face and cover the board with another color, be sure that you don't have chocolate rests or it will, um, it will get your paste dirty, okay? So for this part, I'm going to use a rolling pin. Good, everyone's saying that it's looking forward to see these. So people are excited, me too. <laughs> So I'm just open the paste. Doesn't need to be um, a really thick layer, but don't make it too thin, or probably you will have some difficulties to uh, smooth everything, especially on the most difficult uh, parts, the, um, the intricate parts. And it's important that you have enough space to cover everything. And if you have big bubbles like I'm having here, you can always pop them. Pop them. Now I'm using the pasta model. Modeling paste, Saracino modeling paste. This color is skin tone and white. Um, I used one kilo of skin tone and around half a kilo of white. I have more paste that I need, but this way I'm sure that I will have enough to cover everything. Roll it like um, four millimeters, five millimeters maximum, or it will be too heavy and too thick. And I already gave a good layer of ganache, so you don't need to use too much sugar paste. Okay, a few bubbles, those bastards. Covering my little girl. Okay. I didn't put anything on the cake because it was on the refrigerator, and when I get the everything out of the refrigerator, it get it have some condensations. It creates some condensations, and that is enough for the sugar paste to glue on the cake. So before working too much on uh, smoothing everything, I will make sure that I'm putting the paste in every place before it gets too dried and firm and it will be really difficult, especially on the neck area and it can, it can uh, rip a little bit. Okay, almost done. This part. <laughs> well, this is a cake, and if you are going to use as an edible cake, not for exhibition, it is supposed to eat the cake fast. <laughs> At least in the same day or one day, maximum two days after. Uh, depending on what you use for inside, so it will stay soft. So 
these recipes because it's um, homemade recipes. It doesn't have any uh, conservants and stuff to maintain it more stable for a few days. So you need to eat it as soon as possible. Okay. These parts, it's a little tricky. Sometimes it rips or give a hole, but since I'm going to put here the hair, I'm not too worried about that. Just make sure that the neck is smooth and also the chin and the chest. Everything else I will, I can always uh, cover with something or hide it behind something. Okay, I think we are done. I'm using just a smoother just to help to achieve here a good um, sorry, I forgot completely the word. <laughs> a edge, a good edge, sorry. See, I have a lot of leftovers. You don't need so too much paste, but I always like to cover with extra, just in case. Boa tarde. If you see that your paste didn't glue to your board, you can just put a little bit of water underneath and it will glue and it will stay everything on place. Okay. So now what we're going to do first. Well, I need help from you. I didn't decide which color I'm going to paint the background. Uh, she will be skin tone, okay? For the dress I will use this light Tiffany color. It's the Tiffany mixed with a little bit of white just to make it really pale. And then I will do some shades. And she will have the, fo the flowers that we made here earlier, okay? so. Uh, purple, lilac, pink, Tiffany, those will be the colors for the flowers. And I made a few leaves that I will show you how, really simple, in this uh, green. I mixed a little bit of the leaf green with the Tiffany, so they will be all in the same tones. But for the background, I really don't know what to do, so that part I will leave to you. Decide which color it will be so I can paint the background, okay? So what do you think? Green, yellows, orange, white pinks, what do you think? I already paint one eye, I will show you how to. I will show you now how to paint the other eye while you choose the colors to paint the background. To paint the eyes, this is modeling paste also. I put a little bit of CMC and I forgot to put it on the container. It's a little bit ha uh, harder than it was supposed, but it will be okay. I put a little bit of CMC just to make sure while I'm um, lifting it doesn't lose the shape so I can play a little bit with it okay light pink light pink at least one two three four five oh pink 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 <laughs> I think we have a winner what do you think everyone in the agree with the light pink yeah I can do 
a mix of pinks, it will work very well. And she will pop a little bit, because now we only see skin tone. But as soon as I paint the background, it will have a completely different look. Okay, so for the eye, you need to use always your image as a guideline, okay? So you can, you are sure that you are using the correct size. I use the round cutter. Well, my favorite color, it's black. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I like pink, I like every colors. I don't like red, I don't know why. Red and orange normally are colors that I don't choose. But light pink, I'm okay with it. So I use the round cutter, okay? It has a little mark here and I don't like those marks. So, as I was saying, I use the round cutter, but her eye, it's not round, it's a little bit of oval, okay? So I just push a little bit, pull a little bit, and push and pinch a little bit, so I can have the shape that I want, you know, need to make sure that I have both eyes exactly the same size. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Round a little bit the edge, you can use your fingers to round a little bit the edge. A lot of people saying that they don't like red either. Well, not a lot of people, just two people, just two persons, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I don't like red. I never dress red. If I have the possibility, I never paint or never use red. I think the only thing that I like red, it's mini in the red clothes. <laughs> so after using the round cutter for the eye and shape it a little bit, so I have a rounder shape, a smoother and rounder edge, I will use another cutter that I see that it's the perfect size for my um, iris okay and I'll just mark not too much I don't need too much pressure it just it's just to see where I should paint and make sure that I paint them with exactly the same size I will do a little zoom so you can see better well you don't need to add CMC twink uh, Twinska. <laughs> you don't need. I did it because I want it to be hard and easier to grab, but you don't need, okay? You can just make it with regular paste or modeling paste, whatever you prefer. It's okay. So, to paint, I have here two colors, okay? I'm using the blue and the darker blue those two colors with the yellow for the eye and then I will use the black for the pupil and I'm mixing them with um, food grade ethanol. Olá Carla! Food grade ethanol, just a tiny little bit, well you can use another stuff, you can use Everclear, vodka, a lot of drinks. A clear drink, it's okay. You can even use lemon extract or other clear extract. It's perfect too. Or plain water to do this technique. Just make sure that it dries. So when you touch and you assemble, it doesn't get dirty, messy, okay? So I will start painting the lighter tone. So the lighter tone in my eye will be my yellow. It looks like green because I mix with the blue, but it's yellow. So a little bit of alcohol. Whoa. Okay, I think you can see it. 
little bit of my paintbrush is blue sorry I grabbed the wrong one it was supposed to be the yellow yes it's this one easier to do like this. You don't need it too strong, you just need light. So to make a lighter tone, you had more alcohol, like to achieve a watercolor effect more or less, okay? And I will paint the middle of my eye. This dries very, very quickly. So after painting the middle of my eye with another brush, I will paint the, the blue, the lighter tone. Well, this palette is completely messed. start adding the blue and since they are translucent it will mix a little bit with my yellow and you will achieve a blue tone it's important to don't let it dry completely so it will be easier to blend all the colors together my yellow it's already dried so I'm adding a little bit more to be easier to mix everything together And now, with another brush, I will do the darker tone. Yes. Because we are using the alcohol to dissolve everything, when it dries, it gets a little bit more uh, clear, more um, lighter. If you don't saturate too much the color. So, any questions? And you can play a little bit with the colors. So, you have both eyes similar. And if necessary, you can add more color for the first eye, just to make sure that the tones are similar. I'm painting before, I'm painting in the first time, uh, the first part, the eyes. First, I wanted to give you time so you choose the color for the backdrop. The background but this way I'm sure that the eyes are completely dried and I don't mess everything when I'm assembling so now I'm using a little bit of black just to go around and make a silhouette the 
the best way to do it is to wait that the first layers of the color are completely dried. Because if they aren't dried, sometimes when you put the dark, the black, they mixed. But I have my air conditioning um, turned on and it's hot here, so it dries really quickly. Okay, and now the middle part, the black part, the pupil. And even if you put your doll or your figure looking down, up for the side, doesn't matter, you have always to put the pupil in the middle of the eye, always. more black okay for the pupil it's important to have a saturated color so you need to add more powder that for the watercolor effect okay so it have to be thick a thick painting so it will be opaque Sorry for my silence, but this is <laughs> a really complex part to do and I want to be sure that I don't mess everything, so I'm really concentrated. And even be, being able to do more than one stuff at the same time, I prefer to paint. <laughs> a little bit more black here to make it darker and I need to make it bigger. Okay, I don't like the yellow part on this one. I'm just adding a little bit more yellow to it. More or less. Okay, for the white part, it's easier to make with sugar paste. So, a tiny little bit of sugar paste for the bottom. And a bigger one for this part. I'm using a punch cutter, punch cutter, okay, a round punch cutter. And I normally put them always the same size, the same side, okay, because it's like the sun is, or the light is going like this, and it will give the shiny look on the both sides, in, in the same side, okay. So I will let them rest a little bit. They are cute, aren't they? <laughs> and now before assembling the cake and shading everything, I will paint my background. I will use the same technique, the alcohol. I 
I will use pink and white to have different colors and I can have a little bit of blue to make some lilacs. So just a little bit of pink, white and blue. I think I will need more white. And alcohol or vodka. An extra a little extra here. This is a turning table. Turntable. Okay. I think you can see now better. I think so. I'm using a large brush, like a blush brush, okay? pink okay and I'm going to cover everything with a light tone of pink be careful not to paint the cake but since I'm going to add the arms and the clothes and the hair if necessary can hide some uh, irregularities, some defects. I'm not worried about that too much now. So quickly I'm going to cover everything. It doesn't need to be perfect because I'm going to do with different colors. Okay. And then I can make some darker parts. just uh, tap need more colors well you don't need to dissolve the pole the powder you can use it directly but you will have a big mess <laughs> and I prefer to do like this and it will give you um, a watercolor effect. They will blend very well together. Ooh, this is too dark. Don't worry, I will try to make it lighter. Just with the alcohol, yes. Do you like these colors? I can go again over with the lighter pink. I will just test a little bit of the blue here. Let's see. No.
So now that I have a background in a different color, the skin tones look more like skin tone, right? Do you like the color like this or you prefer it lighter? I think it's okay. Now I just used a food grade alcohol with the powders, okay, Saracino powders, nothing more. Okay, so now that she's done, while everything dries, it's quick. You can see some parts are wet and some parts are completely uh, dried now. It's really, really quick. I can start making the face. Yes. I will position my eyes. Yeah, here it's perfect. I will just mark lightly where they are going to be. I can press a little bit so it will be easier to put the eye. Can use the back of your rolling pin to help this part. Like if it is part of the face, it's not something that it's popping out. Okay, I will do the same in the other eye. Little bit more. Okay, I like it. Like this. This one, it's still too high comparing to the other one. Just pushing a little bit more. Yes. Now she can see. <laughs> So, continuing with the eyes, I'm doing some eyelids and I'm using exactly the same color that I used for the skin. I will make a kind of a sausage, but a pointy one. Your hand. As this part like a concave part and if you relax your hand and roll something on your hands you have like this a sausage a pointy sausage and it will be the perfect shape to make eyelids or if you're doing a unicorn a unicorn horn. So 
one eyelid it's ready second one if you wanted to make a unicorn horn you just bend it and roll it okay but I'm not doing a unicorn horn I'm doing a eyelid Just make sure that you have more or less the same amount on both eyelids and if you have extra cut the excess with an exacto knife or a plastic knife like I'm using okay okay you don't want to close too much the eye or it will look like she's sleepy. But don't leave it too wide open or it will look like she's scared. See now the, the background uh, just dried and the colors mix it a little bit better and it's blended all together. Okay, so after the eyes we can do the nose. Tiny little nose, really, really tiny, okay? Just a small ball, like this, small ball. Since my hands are really hot and everything gets really sticky in my hands, I don't need to put glue or anything. This is, it's just to roll and it's good to glue. You can also use some um, tools just to help bend it to make sure that the nose doesn't go anywhere I touched with my dirty finger here and I have a blue part on the face and I don't like it okay I'm just cleaning with a water brush. Make sure that you don't use too much water because when you do the shades and the blush, it will uh, absorb every color that you add. Just let me see if there is any uh, message. Uh, someone is asking if that if they want to put the cake stand well if you want to do this kind of doll standing you need to use a structure or the cake will won't hold okay just cleaning here with a sponge a wet sponge because she has pink where it was not supposed to For the mouth, it's an anime style, so you don't need to be. Uh, it's it doesn't need to be too complex. Okay, you just open a little in. You just do a little indentation here. You can use a tool like I'm using. Just press you can cut but it's not necessary when you add shades darker tones it will have uh, it, like if it was uh, a hole it will give some depth to to it Okay, just rounding it a little bit. Making sure that everything is symmetrical, more or less. <laughs> I'm not in the best position to do it, but I want to make sure that you can see everything clear. And I think it's okay. So I'm going 
to use a little bit of the black just to add some depth to the mouth just inside same technique as I used for the eyes you don't need to dissolve it you can use the powder just the powder okay but I prefer to use with the wet technique it's easier to control everything and for the tongue I already cut it's a little bit of pink and I cut with a round cutter so nothing new you don't learn nothing new on seeing this just make sure that it fits on the mouth yes yeah the nose is cute the smaller the nose is the cuter it will be <laughs> so the face it's getting there I think I don't think that I missed any question now I'm going to do the dress um, I did when I shaped the cape when I curved the cake I could give some movements to the dress but I completely forgot about it but I can do it now you can use even skin tone just to give more movement you roll a sausage some sausage let me wet a little bit here first so they glue this is just water you can use cake gel I like to use the water Maria, you can see it later. It will be recorded. It was the first thing that I did was the painting of the eyes. You can see it later. And you can even see the carving part that I did per, uh, yesterday. So now I'm going to cover the dress. Just cleaning the water. You don't need to have a big um, thickness because normally a dress, a uh, shirt, it's thin. So just roll it thin, cover everything, and cut the excess. So when I put the sausage here <laughs> it will give more movement to the shirt i will cover everything to the bottom till the bottom except the legs
Now I will cut the excess, looking at the dress to see how I want it. It's important that the painting is dried or sometimes it glues the paste but since I don't have time to wait I can always go back there later after finishing everything and if necessary I can paint a little bit more Okay. Just giving more movement. You can also add some ruffles here if you want to cover or give a, a different look when you see the, the girl like from the bottom. But I'm happy with it. This is for this part. But before I add there, I'm going to do the arms. So everything okay? Do you have any questions? So for the arms, I'm using again the same skin tone. My hands are really hot, I'm using a little bit of cornstarch. arms you don't need too much because she has a really small body let me just check if this is enough yeah probably it will be the perfect size I like to do both of the arms at the same time, that way I'm sure that they will be uh, similar. Okay, so I do two sausage, I roll the paste more or less with the same um, thickness. One part, one of the sides, slightly thinner than the other, okay, here it will be the hand, yeah, uh, a 
little bit bigger than it was supposed. Just pinching it so it will be smaller. Since it's an anime, I will do some quick and simple hands. Okay, just flat a little bit. I will do a little zoom so you can see it more. Hi, from Dubai. <laughs> Hi, from Portugal. Here, yeah. So I pinch a little bit, I flatten, not pinch, I flatten. Then I will cut like this. So I have a thumb, one side, and in a mirror way, I will cut the other hands. So I have two thumbs. Now I will just roll to give it a more smooth and rounded finish. Round a little bit, round and round. And now to make the wrist, I will roll in my fingers like this. So I have a hand and a arm. same and with my finger I will just bend a little bit so I have one right hand and one left hand. Simple, but effective and cute. In the middle of it, I will roll just to give a depression in the middle. We have the same size here than we have here. Two cute arms. With a little bit of water. I just glue my arm I think I will put a flower or something on her hands just to make her cuter Adding a little bit of water here just to melt a little bit of this sugar paste so it will be easier to uh, smooth everything together and make this adding this junction invisible. Okay, I love modeling paste just because of this. <laughs> It's easier to blend everything together. With modeling chocolate, it's even easier. Just texturing a little bit of the paste.
I didn't describe what I'm doing. This is part is simple. I just cut a stripe and I texturize a little bit. And here is the dress. Am I going too fast? <laughs> okay. So hair, makeup, and we are done. For the hair, I used yellow, but since the yellow is too bright, I mix it with skin tone. Because the skin tone has a little bit of the brown and it will um, give a different tone to the yellow. It uh, make it lighter but more pale also. So, let me look at her. And let me think how I'm going to do this. Oh, before that, it's important. She needs ears. Simple ears. Normally the ears are between the eyes and the nose, so they will have to be here. See if it is too big or not. Yeah, a little bit. Thank you. I'm enjoying very much. I'm quiet today. I think I spoke more yesterday because I'm more concentrated. And normally, when I decorate cakes, I'm alone. I'm a lonely wolf. <laughs> and you also are really quiet there is no questions you can do questions that it's not uh, related to this okay so to keep it interesting so more or less two balls at the same size that is the tricky part Little bit of water on one side, a little bit of water on the other side. I have a ball and I will just roll like a teardrop shape, not too pointy. Like this. Okay, so a ball. More or less the same and I'll just glue them here because they are small you don't need to use anything to hold it on place if it was too big probably you needed to use a little of spaghetti or um, a toothpick Okay, and like it's an anime style, you don't need to work the inside part of the ears. Okay, you just do the shape, the main shape. Just make sure that it's attached so they don't slide. Okay, I think I'm okay with that. You can use a ball tool just to give a simple shape. It 
it's not working too much, it's just to give a, a more ear shape. Yeah, done. Now we are going to start the hair. So for the hair, let me think how I'm going to do this. So this is the original that I made, okay? This is the part that I cut, but she has a little bit of hair there. So I'm doing that part first, so it will be... Uh, like if it was behind, uh, underneath the rest of the hair. I will do a little thicker because I want to texturize a little bit and give some movement. So it's like three or four millimeters. I love this knife. <laughs> I use it for everything. Probably you already know this. So I will cut. Some triangles, some triangles. Okay, this is too pointy, I don't like it. And you can use a dressing tool. Oh, as soon as everything is uh, okay again, so I can travel, definitely, I will go again to Angola. I love you guys. <laughs> Everyone is so nice and funny. I enjoy it so much. Okay, I like it. So, some triangles. I will add a few here. few more here Just make sure that everything is well attached and give some extra texture to it. So now I'm doing this part. The same thickness. Probably I have too much. Yeah. It's more or less this. I'm just seeing where I have my hair. Here. My hair is here, <laughs> so I'll just cut. So I have a shape for my hair here and I will give some movements. You can use a tool like I'm using now, you can use the Dresden tool 
resin tool is perfect to have texture and to do hair. And it's easier to do before you attach to the cake. And if necessary, you can always add more texture after assembling everything. Little bit of water, I use water as a glue. Don't put too much or instead gluing, it will slide or it will melt your sugar paste. Go around the ear. You can add some extra movement to the hair if you want. Yeah, I like like this. Cutting the excess. And I will do the same for the other side. I'm not seeing any new comments. I don't know if it is my problem or if you are not commenting everything. And don't don't uh, forget to share, okay? Because I think it's a good technique, especially for someone that is starting and don't know how to sculpt or how to do something like this. This is an easy cake. Sometimes I found it more easy to, to do a carved cake like this, the one that I'm making, than doing a cake with a doll on top. Sometimes it's quicker and the wow factor it's way higher like this. Just making sure that I have enough. Yeah, it's moving a little bit more. Okay, and now I'm going to cut like this, so to give the movement. Let's see where to start. It's important to have the, the eyes dried, or when I do this, the color will mess everything. Okay, so like this, this and this. My hair here. Okay. Yes, to make the blonde look, I used yellow and skin tone, so it will have a paler yellow tone. Yes, it's like this, but I need to texture before adding and gluing everything. I like to do it with both the knife and the resin tool. Water.
right? That's why I don't like to use the turntable sometimes, because we are applying some pressure and it starts dancing. And if you don't like this, or if you think it's too big, you can always cut with the scissor and give extra movements. Cutting the excess. And you can add some extras to give more movement if you want, if you desire it. It will have more movement and it will be cuter if you have some extras hairs hanging there. What do you think? Do you like her? Okay. So here I have my legs and I forgot to shape them. And it's important to do it as uh, soon as you roll the paste because it will be uh, elastic and smooth and it will be easier to it will be more pliable and it will be easier to do this okay sometimes when you let it dry completely and you try to texturize it it breaks or it will have some wrinkles It's not the case. <laughs> I'm glad that you are enjoying it. I'm enjoying it too. As I told you earlier, as I told you yesterday, I didn't have time to test it, to make it before. But I thought, okay, it's a simple project. i done some pretty heavy stuff comparing to this so it will be okay and i think i'm doing it i'm nailing it <laughs> modesty apart so makeup time and assembling the flowers before assembling the flowers i want to show you how i made the leaves really simple leaves okay this is fantasy really really simple so i have here green it's the saracino green okay this one but i mixed a little bit with the tiffany so it will be lighter more seal green tone Yes, Latina, for a little girl's birthday, or for my mom. <laughs> she's not that little girl anymore. She's a big lady that I love too much. But I know she loves this stuff, kid stuff, so she will enjoy it. So to make the leaves like this, cartoonish look, you need a little ball. 
you do a teardrop shape, you flat a little bit, and then with the dressing tool or a knife, you just texturize in the middle. And voila, it's done. You can even pinch just to give more movement. And you have simple leaf, cute leaf, done. So for the makeup, what I'm going to use Blush brushes, okay, blush, the fluffiest and the more open it is, the best will be. I will use skin tone, pink tone, and that's it, okay? If she had a darker skin tone, I will also use some brown, but since she is really light, I'm using the pink and the skin tone, and I will shade a little bit also here the... Um, the skirt okay you can finish with some ruffles here it will look better it will give more movement here okay but i'm okay with it and i don't want to waste more time there so something important never go directly with your powders to your sugar paste i always use some towels some paper towels to make it a little bit lighter and you can also mix with some cornstarch so i have here skin tone okay so i'm not going straight there i'm cleaning my brush in my towel i will test a little bit underneath something that it won't be visible to see if i like the shades or if it's too dark if it's too dark, I can mix with white or I can mix with the cornstarch. Sometimes it's safer to use the cornstarch, especially when you're working with real cake because it was on the refrigerator. It has a little bit of um, stickness, a little bit of the condensation, so it's not completely dried. So sometimes it's better to use the cornstarch. Because the cornstarch will absorb all the humidity and it will make a lighter tone. So I will start adding some shades in skin tone to the places it was supposed to be dark. Because we have darker parts on our body and also the lights and the shades from the environment will give you different colors. To your skin tone so I'm shading everything it was supposed to be darker okay underneath the chin because the head and she has a huge head we'll do some shadows on the neck on the shoulders so everywhere I see it was supposed to be darker I will add some colors. First I will start with the skin tone and then I can add a little bit of blush with the pink underneath my nose. Okay. In my eyelid. Oh, I need to put her some eyelashes. Eyeliner, eyelashes and I um, how you call this one? I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> In Portuguese, it's sobrancelhas. I don't remember the name. So, more shadows. Eyebrows, yeah. <laughs> eyebrows. Eyelashes, eyeliners and eyebrows. I know it is something, eye something. I didn't remember the something part. Okay.
So the most, the more time that you do this and dedicate to this part of shading, the more um, cool it will look. I was, I was about to say realistic, but it's not, it's not a case. This is an anime. So don't be too shy about the shades because we are using a similar tone. If you are using black or brown, yes, be careful. Don't put too much, don't get too excited about this. But since I'm using skin tone, just darker than she has, I'm okay with the shades. I can do a lot of shading and it will be okay. It will have more impact. It will be a more good looking cake. I'm putting underneath the hair because the hair also do some shades on our face. Okay, be careful not to add too much here this is a light part okay this part and here also it's a light part now that i finished with the skin tone just add a little bit more here more here in the chin not in the chin because the chin has to be light but underneath okay we'll do it the bigger one and now with the pink Be careful with the pink. <laughs> Put a lot of cornstarch or instead of blushing her, you will turn her to a clown. A lot of cornstarch, clean your brush, do it. If necessary, do it 10 times till you achieve the colors. Don't put too much. Okay. Okay, a little bit of pink also to the nose, a little bit here. We can also put a tiny little bit on the breast, on the chest and the shoulders. And also in the arms, just to give different shades. And to the legs too. Okay, if you put too much, you can always blow it. Okay, pink here also in the eyelids. I want more blush because it's an anime. And animes normally have 
really blushy cheeks. Okay. More blush, just a tiny little bit. Well, in the, the camera, I'm looking to my cell phone and it doesn't look as colorful that she is but she has really different shades. Can you notice? So, eyebrows, it's important. Little bit of black. <laughs> Thank you. I'm enjoying it so much. I'm really, I really am. I'll just give some color also to her tongue. A little bit of pink. So far, the eyebrows, normally it's the last thing that I do because they are black and I get all my fingers really dirty and I'm always afraid to mess everything, so it's the last thing that I do. It's the eyelids, sorry, the eyebrows and the eyeliners. So I'm doing a, a roll, okay? Thin roll, sit thinner in one side, and it's the same for the eyelids. I'm not eyelids, so sorry. <laughs> the eyeliner. Sometimes it's difficult to think in Portuguese and talk in Portuguese. It's harder to think in English and talk in English. <laughs> Especially when I know that there are a lot of people's what a lot of people watching me that I'm trying to have fun and abstract of that detail, small detail. Okay, so two more to go. In a few more minutes, we are done. Just look for my water bright brush. I'm a messy lady. I don't find my brush. <laughs> oh, it's here. Sorry. So I will add a little bit of water just to the edge of my high lid, if I say it correctly, to add my eyeliner, one side, and the opposite, okay. And then I will glue 
it hopefully it will stay on place my hands are extremely hot and everything stick to them sometimes it's frustrating Okay. If you have too ex too much excess, you can always cut. And the other one. Oh, I'm seeing some Portuguese flags. Oh, you can put flags of your own country here on the comments. It will be a beautiful, it will be something beautiful to see. What do you think? So go. Your flags on here on the comments. I want to see some flags. I'm not seeing any flags, only Vitor posted Portuguese flags. I want to see more flags. <laughs> Hi Jennifer, how are you Jenny? I miss you girl. Ooh, more flags. <laughs> So for the eyebrows, I'm using the same technique. I don't worry too much with the length now, because I will cut the excess there. I will position them. I will put a little bit of water, just to make sure that they glue and stick on the correct place. Make sure that you don't use too much water or glue, or it will be shiny and it can remove some of the makeup that we made earlier, okay? More flags. Yeah. <laughs> so since she has huge eyes, normally we use the size of the eye as a guideline. I will do from this corner to this corner. The same here. I start with a pointy part on the outside. Since she's smiling and she is a, a nice and cute girl, I will do a face that likes she's smiling, a more neutral shape for the eyebrow. If she was mad or sad, I will do a different shape. I'm loving to see all your flags. You can do a Frida Kahlo, <laughs> but it's not the case. This is too big. Okay, almost done. Ah, stay there. And the flowers. I have a lot. I don't know if I'm going to use all of them. A little bit of water here to make it sticky. You can also do some shades on the hair. 
but since it's already too long this life I won't do that it will be the same technique as I did for the face with a little darker shade of the yellow I used I can emphasize and give some more movement to the hair okay it's sticky not enough yet and I will start gluing them yes you can use a ball too just to make a small depression and it will be easier to assemble everything I made them yesterday with the modeling paste and they are completely set can you hear it? You can play a little bit with the colors. You can use some tools to help you assemble everything. Okay. It like this I will add some leaves You can add also some um, berries if you want or other colors, it will be more rich. The more details you add, the more complex it will look. So here is she. What do you think? <laughs> you can also do some shades to the skirt with different colors if you want. I'll put some flowers here on her hand. So I made so much flowers, so many flowers, I can add an extras here, just to give more color. Yeah. She's cute. So, 
bear with me a little bit now i'm flipping again the camera hello again hope you enjoy it let's hope that no accident happens okay here she is from the side from the front wheel not the best angle. So let me see any questions. You are welcome. It was a pleasure. Let me see the flags. Oh, a lot of flags. Ooh, I think Portugal is winning. <laughs> Thank you so much for being there, for your support. If you like my work, you can always go to my page. My name is Milen. Sweet Me. I know it's on the opposite side, but it's Sweet Me Cake Design by Milen Habib. I will leave here in Saracino page my, my link. You can go there and check my works. I do all kinds of cakes. I also do classes. Uh, most of them are presential, are face-to-face. -face. I also do some online classes. Um, and hopefully this is not the last time that I see you here. <laughs> Any questions? And I want to see your dolls, okay? If you do something uh, similar to this and you use this technique to you do it, please tag me. I always love to see your works, okay? It gives me so much pleasure to see that people inspired um, some works on mine. It's always very, very grateful. It's always very uh, honorable, okay? Thank you, Saracino. They already uh, shared my link, my page. So no questions at all. Everyone saying thank you, very cute, stunning. Thank you so much. Yeah, I enjoy it very much. I hope my mom also like it. And I hope she's not watching now because it will spoil our everything. <laughs> so I think I'm done. I'm done, Sylvia. Thank you very much for the invite and see you later. Bye-bye. Have a sweet week and stay safe at home if possible. If not, do everything that you have to do safely. <laughs> Bye.